Hey guys, my name is Marcela. This is gonna be my reaction to The Flash Season 3, Episode 16. Very excited to be doing this binge watch of the shows of Supergirl, Legends, Arrow, and The Flash, obviously. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying doing them. And let's start the show right now, by the way, if you want. If you want to support me, you can go ahead to Patreon. With $1 you get early access, like 2-3 episodes ahead of what I'm posting on YouTube. And you guys, but if you can't, no worries, I'll post it on YouTube also. Like it will be here, it's just a little bit of an incentive for everyone that wants to help on Patreon. But you can also follow me on Twitter, you can leave a comment down below, I'll always answer. So let's just start the show right now because I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Almost here and saying I can just whip up some kind of interdimensional tether to just anchor him to the universe? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. I can have an hour cooking with you in. Aww. Idols will know if they fluctuate and we can pull them out. You mean pull us out? Yeah, if you're right, oh, you're so going. Oh, you're going. Jesse, you're going to stay here. Because if your father finds out you're lost in some negative world, the first person to get a broken schnoz. Why does everybody always use her father for an excuse not to let her do things? Keep the city safe while I'm gone. And this is something I have to do alone, okay? Thank you. That fine was not convincing. Whitworth Miller? Oh my god. I can't wait to see Captain Cole again. I've been missing him in the show, like in, to see him in, in, at least once. I love when they bring back somebody like that. Where is Wally West? He's not exactly here per se. He's in the prison you created. It means things have changed. We gave you your speed back because you said you'd come to terms with your mother's death. But you lied to us. Uh, you went back in time and saved her. And in doing so, you created Flashpoint. So Wait, Caitlin is a mom? I see that this episode is going to be everyone back. This hesitation that you feel on behalf of the group is our realization that this go for broke attitude is the very attitude that got Wallace in his predicament in the first place. Yes. Now, I can't believe I'm uttering the words, but I absolutely agree with HR. Say down. Thanks, boys. A lone speed style. It's just no match for Savitar. Yeah, but Jesse, we're going to find him. When? When the real Flash gets back. That came out wrong. Um. Wow. <sighs> that was hard. Oh, my foot in. You really are a hard hat, Harry's little girl, aren't you? Yeah, I am, and you're not him. So just do us both a favor and stop trying to be. Ouch. While he doesn't belong in the Speed Force, you have to let me take his place. <sighs> now we That's see what, what what's his plan is. Race. I thought about that first, like, if you wanted to sacrifice to get Wally, that. but that would be bad. Because where Wally's gone is a hell all his own. Whatever hell Wally's trapped in, I'm gonna set him free. And I'm not leaving here until I do. Very well. You know you were warned. Oh, fuck. Sacrificing, you still let 
Oh, fuck. Oh, they're gonna think he's dead. What? That was him and Molly's lifeline out of the Speed Force. How are we gonna get them back? I don't know that we can. Oh. Is he seeing Wally. his mom? Wally! I'm gonna get you out, okay? Just hang on. Visiting hours are over, Flash. Aww. Snark to sacrifice himself. It was you, Baryon. You inspired him to be. Aww. Bad. Well, if you're out, you're out. I'm done fighting. We know. That's oh my god. Problem. You think seeing Iris is death is hell? You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, oh fuck, do not kill him. Getting a little slow in your golden age there, Garrick. Stop. It's over. You're free now. Hey, we're going home. All right, it's okay. We're going home. Jay, let's go. He went, he's gonna stay in his place? He really does. Let me get this back to you again. You better. I'm sad and like I'm sad and I'm mad. I don't want him to stay there. It's better him than Wally, but I don't want him to stay there. Besides, until Barry can get Jay out of the Speed Force, Earth 3 needs a flash to protect it. Aww. Who's protecting our crew? Since you left. How are you two? Guess who feels pain? What, what exactly are you saying? You're saying that underneath the suit of armor that he's... Yes, James. He's not a god. He's just a man, baby. A man. I love how he said that. It's just a man, baby. Is she gonna say for him to propose again? Please let that be it. Thank you for saving Wally. It made me question if you were asking me for the right reasons, you know? If it was out of love or responsibility. He does love you. Look, while you were gone, I realized something. I don't have to doubt why you want to marry me. It's the same reason that I want to marry you. So, can you propose again? Uh, and can she say yes in front of the camera this time? I love you. But, uh, he's not gonna ask her to marry him? I think we need 
some space for a while. I was not expecting so, that. I, I, don't, I don't know how we can move forward like this. I want to hug her. Damn it, Barry. I guess I'm going to my dad's. Look, you stay here and I'll, I'll stay with Cisco. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, I'm kind of mad with Barry right now because I think he's like, he's feeling so much guilt for what happened with Wally and with Savitar and seeing everyone else that died. He's having so much guilt that he's now trying not to be with Iris so he doesn't let her in da more danger or something. Or so that he prevents that from happening or that he suffers less. I don't know. I just... I thought they were going to be together now and he, he was going to propose again. And she was going to say yes. And then he went the other way. And I I felt kind of... kind of I felt sad for Iris. And I know he loves her too. So... But right now I couldn't feel sad for him because of all the guilt he was having because I don't think he deserves all that guilt I know he messed up at some moments when he shouldn't but they make mistakes and then they have to learn and move on but he keeps beating up himself over it time and time again so that's what's causing this now and because of that now he he's different and he doesn't want to be with her right now so that was weird like I don't know very much how to feel about it because I, I think I'm kind of resenting him for that but let's see what's gonna happen like I don't know if he's doing that because he thinks it's gonna change the future eventually or if he wants to suffer less maybe because they won't be yes together or I don't know what but that totally shocked me it was a surprise then it totally blew me off like I was so excited from the entire episode so happy to see Eddie back to see Snart back to see Jay back to see Ronnie like I was so happy when I saw all of them and then this happened and I'm like sad now I'm sad but let's focus on the good it was so good to see Caitlyn as a mom like there with Ronnie you to think about all the possibilities that what could have happened to see the actor that plays Eddie back even though it wasn't Eddie for, per se but it was nice to have him back to have Ronnie back and to think all of the different storylines that could have happened but it didn't how the story was and how the flashpoint and everything affected everyone and how much more stories it was created I felt bad for Jay for staying there. I felt bad for Wally for being stuck there, having to relive that. It was like heartbreaking, those situations. And I can't wait for them to put Savitar back there so they don't have to always have a speedster, speedster there getting that destiny. Because there are some speedsters that do not deserve that if they did good. So I don't see why they always have to be a speedster there even when they don't deserve it. But like I was liking the idea at first of the mythology. But then like why are you put it's like the part why are you punishing people for sins that they didn't commit. They didn't deserve. So now I'm very mad with the speed force for that. And I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. I was kind of afraid for Jessie, but at the same time, I'm kind of mad with her because she was being foolish and she was taking the decision of being foolish 
like Wally in the next episode, he screwed up, but he when he tried to take Savita, he tried to take him alone too. But like he screwed up, but most of the time when he screwed up, he didn't knew that what he was doing was a mistake. This thing with with Jesse, it was clearly like Jesse, you're making a mistake. You need to wait, and she was like, no, but I need to go now. Jesse, you need making a mistake. You need to wait, but she needs to go now. So it was like. Girl, everybody's telling you to wait and you're still going. What the fuck? So that behavior she was having, it kind of annoyed me. But I'm glad that she didn't die. I don't want her to die or anything. And I'm glad that we found out something more about Savitar and how to beat him. Because now they know he's just a guy. But it was very funny, the scene of her punching her dad. Like the HR that looks like her dad. That was funny with her, like, that was so satisfying. <laughs> so I liked that part. But pretty much it was just good to see it, to have everybody back. It was kind of a sad episode, like, very much heavy on the guilty. F for everybody, like, you're guilty for this, you have blame on that, you should feel guilty for this other thing, your mistakes, and this all on everybody's face. So that was kind of sad. But at the same time, I like how much HR helped the episode. He was like on fire this episode. He was helping all the time. So that was great. And I hope you guys liked my reaction. I'll see you all next time. Can't wait. Bye.